Hi everyone, a lot has happened since the last time that I chatted with you. Uh, in the last 24 hours, both the governor and the mayor of Norman have both uh, put out executive orders. Both of them have increased uh, restrictions that were in place for individuals and businesses. Uh, we now have a stay in place order for 19 counties in Oklahoma. Uh, that was declared by the governor and then for the mayor of Norman, she also did a stay in place order for the city of Norman. Now, what does that mean? And I, I've got both orders here. Uh, they're both seven pages long, very lengthy. And we're going to have uh, links to both of these on our website, normanchamber.com, so that you can review them and learn how best you can comply with these. And But in the meantime, also continuing uh, your lives and your work. So first and foremost, uh, both of these orders want to encourage safe uh, behavior and your health and wellness, okay? That's really the bottom line when it comes down to it. Many of us have already transitioned to working remotely and uh, this just goes on top of that. Uh, both of them have a lengthy list of what is considered to be essential services. I say lengthy because there's lots of exceptions and I think you'll be surprised to learn um, exactly what's described uh, in both of those lists. In the city proclamation, there's a list and then uh, for the state uh, proclamation, we're gonna provide another list that the Department of Homeland Security has, uh, has put out there that, and that's what the state is utilizing. I would encourage you to look at those and see how best you can uh, comply with those orders. Now, what does that mean for you and I as citizens or you and I as a business owner? Uh, let me emphasize this. Norman is open for business. Uh, neither one of these orders have shut down our community. Quite the opposite. Uh, there are still a lot of things going on. It's just that we're having to do it a little differently. Uh, we've already talked about opportunities for you to continue to shop. Uh, many of our businesses, like I said earlier, have transitioned to remote working, but a lot of our retail establishments have, are already doing deliveries, carry out, um, their curbside uh, pickup, and then many of them, they already had an online presence and they are continuing to improve and make those presences more robust. So I'd encourage you to log on to your favorite business's website, see what's available that you can get today. Uh, you might wanna go ahead and purchase a gift card today and use it on down the road. But there are a lot of options for you to take advantage of today. Um, don't let either one of these or what's happening across the country discourage you from shopping local and supporting our local businesses. Now, neither one of these will prevent you from getting outside. Uh, today in particular is gonna be a beautiful day. So I'd encourage you to go out for a walk, get some fresh air, maybe go to the park. If you happen to play on playground equipment, uh, I would just say sanitize your hands afterwards. But you may wanna go out to Lake Thunderbird and enjoy the weather. Uh, these don't enforce a lockdown at all. They just wanna encourage best practices. They want to make sure that you and I maintain our health and that we continue to flatten the curve, uh, that we don't overrun our healthcare systems that we have in the state or in particular here in Norman at Norman Regional Health Systems. Um, so these both go to further our ability to be healthy, and continue to operate at the same time. Uh, it's important that our businesses have the opportunity to continue to serve their customers. And there will be some changes though, so please um, read what's here and listen and maybe get online to your favorite local business and see how they're transitioning during this time. There will be some businesses that have to close for a few weeks. Both of these last for 21 days. Uh, I assume there'll be tweaks along the way, so stay tuned there. Um, again, both of these, there'll be links on our website, normanchamber.com, where you can find out more information. And in addition to that, uh, our next visit, I'll be talking more with you about the federal stimulus package that was agreed to last night uh, between the House, or excuse me, between the Senate and the White House. Uh, we assume that the House will take that up soon and it will be signed by the President in the near future. So be looking for more information there. Continue to take care of yourself, uh, be healthy and be well, and we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.